I'm Alex Villarreal with the VOA Special English Technology Report. Egypt's government faced international criticism when it blocked internet service to try to suppress the uprising there. But Egyptian activists found other ways to get their message out. Google, Twitter, and a company called Say Now launched a service called Speak to Tweet. They wanted to give Egyptians a way to communicate with the outside world. There are phone numbers for people to call to record a message. An audio file is then posted to Twitter. Anyone can listen to these voice-to-tweet messages at twitter.com slash speak to tweet. The phone numbers are listed on that page and people can also call them to hear the tweets. Ujwal Singh and Abdel Karim Mardini launched Say Now as an American-based company in 2005. Thousands of celebrities use the service to connect with their fans. Google purchased Say Now at the end of January, just days before teaming with Twitter to create the new Speak to Tweet service. Most of the calls have come from inside Egypt, and most are in Arabic. Volunteers are translating the messages into English, Spanish, and French at the website Alive in Egypt. People are also showing their support for the protesters through pages on Facebook. Facebook says it has 5 million users in Egypt, including 1 million on mobile devices. Social networks like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube also played a part in the protests that forced Tunisia's president from office in January. Gillian York is with the Berkman Center for Internet and Society at Harvard University in Massachusetts. She says the use of social media has been different in the movements in Egypt and Tunisia. She says in Tunisia, it was used mostly to spread information about what was happening on the ground. In Egypt, people have been using social media to organize. Gillian York is also a member of the Open Net Initiative, a group that studies internet censorship and spying. She says the Egyptian shutdown had a much wider effect than past internet bans in Nepal, Burma, and China's Xinjiang province. She says Egypt's internet community is about 20 times the size of those three places combined. Internet service returned in Egypt after a five-day shutdown. Experts at the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development estimated that the action cost Egypt's economy at least $90 million. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.